All right, folks. I'm gonna do another video on uh, some Case 885 brakes here. This is a brake cylinder, and we're going to take it apart to get ready to rebuild this brake cylinder here. This is out of a uh, Case International 885. There are two of these. Uh, we've already taken the first one apart. I'm gonna do a video today on disassembling and then when we get our rebuild kit parts in, we'll do another video on putting it all back together and replacing the seals. This is the brake cylinder. First thing we're gonna do, we broke these loose. We're gonna take, take these out. This is the equalizer valve. So that over there, it's got a copper washer on it. So you wanna keep track of that. This is the input line from the reservoir. Now inside this input line here, there's a screen that you don't want to lose. It is uh, keeps debris from falling down into your cylinder. Uh, if you look at the part numbers on Case's website, you'll see that it says that the screen is no longer required. Uh, I guess they decided debris wasn't that big of a deal in there. Let's get that tube off and you'll see what I'm talking about. right inside this this line here you want to be careful with it because it's just a piece of plastic kind of like the uh, screen assembly that sits inside your pet cock on a motorcycle or ATV so it's just a chintzy piece of plastic Bit of screen and it does have some debris in it. I can tell in there. We're gonna put all this into the solvent tank and clean everything up real good when we're done. We broke this loose. I'm gonna take this bolt line off. Set this over here. All right. And the next thing we got is inside your equalization valve. Here's a little piece you want to take out and underneath of it is a little ball bearing so you don't want to lose that all right so we take this out rubber end goes down or there's a seal on the end of it here that goes down into it and there's that little ball bearing that sits underneath there now <clears throat> with this disassembled that ball bearing would fall all the way through there because it fits inside this little hole down in there. But the piston in here keeps it falling all the way through. Set that aside. So we got that apart. Now we're going to get up underneath here into the boot. And the boots, new boots, come with the uh, seal kit. So you don't have to be too ginger with these. On the other one that I disassembled, this boot was completely destroyed. This, this one isn't destroyed, but there's a lot of nasty down in there. And there is a spring clip sitting in here that retains this keeper. Take some needle nose pliers and pull that out. There's that spring clip right there. And then this follows. I'm just gonna cut that off there. Well, I don't wanna cut it off there, but. Because my luck, I'll tear up the new one that comes with a seal kit. Well, I tore it up anyway, I guess I'll let it
there's your rod. This bolts to the tractor's uh, brake pedals and this actuates it. Now the seal kit shows that it comes with uh, this washer here. I have no idea how the heck you would get that off of there. I mean, it's not in bad shape. It doesn't look like a wear part that needs to be replaced, but this rod is one piece, so it doesn't thread together. I have no idea how they expect you to, to replace that, so we're probably not. We're going to set that aside and get to the rest of it. Now, you look down in here, you see the piston, how that works. It pushes down against that spring. The clip's already out, so this is going to come right out. So you just pull straight out. Now you've got an empty cylinder. And we get to the guts here. Here's one seal that will be replaced with the kit. The other seal, we got to get uh, the spring mechanism off here. And the way this works is there is a little clip that rests against the back of the piston. Get underneath there, pry it up so it'll come off. And that whole thing just comes out. Here's your piston. And then to get this apart, you push the rod in over to the uh, keyway, and then it just comes right out. And then the spring comes off the keeper here. Set that aside, set the spring aside come to this. This little plastic piece comes right off the other end. There is a little uh, spring washer here that sits on there. Right on here is the other seal that you'll be replacing with the kit. So that's disassembly. Next we'll be putting it in the dump tank, cleaning everything up, making it nice and shiny again, well shiny as we can. And then uh, once, like I said, once we get the parts, we'll do the rebuild and reassembly. That's your brake cylinder. I was unable to find any videos about this particular uh, cylinder anywhere on the internet. So this was a, kind of a trial and error. I found another video for a different, uh, Girling is the name of the uh, manufacturer. There was another video on a dune buggy kind of race car that had a reservoir built onto the top here, or on the back rather. Uh, but it, it was, like I said, it was girling also, and the guts seemed to be practically identical, except for the equalization valve. But uh, if you're working on a tractor, you got this cylinder. It also crosses over to some new hauling parts. But there you go. That's how you do it. Stand by for the next video. Thanks for watching.